Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a Europass CV format in Microsoft PowerPoint. So you can convert your Europass CVs in Microsoft PowerPoint. I've heard a lot of times students have problem while making it in Microsoft Word because they have extensive data. But how you can do it uh, in Microsoft PowerPoint simply by dragging the text wherever you want in a simple and easy way. So first of all, go to the insert menu and change the layout, which is currently, sorry, design menu, which is currently in the landscape mode. So first of all, go to the custom slide and then here you can change it from white screen to A4. Then simply change the slide orientation to portrait and then you can easily see that your uh, presentation is now in the portrait mode. So I'm quickly going to add some margins. So you can add simply add margins by placing simple lines over here. For example, you can draw and drag here so that you know this is your working space. And simply you can draw it over here. So for convenience, I'm going to copy it from the sample file that I already made so that it can save from I'm going to paste this from my sample that I already made. So you can see that I've kept some margins from both on the top side and the bottom side so that easy there so that it can easily be managed. So first of all, we are going to go to the insert menu. We're gonna we are going to take a text box and then we are going to place it. So first of all comes the personal information. So as we know that this part comes in the caps, so personal information will come like this and more all the text that is being used in this uh, format is Arial so you're gonna use this one and after that you need to be sure about the text or the or the font that you are being you are using right now so it must be Arial and the size of this font should be 9 so once you're done with this one you're going to place it over here and then you're going to change its color and change it to a little bit light blue as in their format so once you're done with this one, the next thing that you are have to do is you have to place your portrait image over here. So it can be different uh, portrait, but as per recommendation, if they ask for a blue background, if they ask for a black background, you must be sure that what color or which orientation you should use. So this is the way you can add or insert pictures. So this is currently a simple picture that I have added. I will also share a link in the description where you can see how you can remove the background of your picture or in a portrait mode. This is you can simply go to the picture format and you can easily see an option remove background. I have another complete video you can easily watch from there. Now the then comes the next part the main part which is your title. So just for the convenience I'm going to use the text that I already used and I'm going to place it over here. Simply you can the way I added this text you can simply add this text also. So this text is actually for your name. So as I have written here, replace with first name and surname. That means you're going to write your first name like this and first name and then comes a surname. So I've just added some instructions so that you can easily do it without any hassle. So as you can see that this is the text that I've added and then you can simply add them in the insert menu and by just simply placing a text box. Keep in mind that all the text being used in this presentation or in this CV format, you must use a blue text. Okay, now then comes another part which is your uh, name and uh, name, then comes your uh, location, your mobile number, your email address and all that stuff. So for that, what you have to do is you need icons for that. Most of the people say that they don't have icons or they don't have an options for uh, icon set in Microsoft PowerPoint. For those people, I've added a simple link in which you can access all the links, all the icon sets that are being used in the latest version of Microsoft PowerPoint and you can easily and simply download from there and you can easily use them. So these icon sets are available in Microsoft PowerPoint and they are really convenient and easy to use. So now as you can see that I have reduced the size and I'm going to change the color from black to blue. So now it looks pretty much better. So in order to make it more concise and uh, come to the main point because this part is just simple and easy, I'm going to use and copy the same text from my uh, presentation that I already made so that it can easily help you and show you how we are going to move forward because this is all going to be same copy and paste and once you're done with one format and you're just going to replace it everywhere you want so I'm just going to copy it I'm going to paste it over here okay so now once you're done you can see that all these icons as all these icons let me see, let me just remove this option okay Anyways, all these icons are used from the insert menu, which is icon set. You can easily type anything like pin, you will find a pin location. If you write a mobile, you can find a mobile over here. Simply just click on this one and you can easily drag and drop inside. Once you're done with this one, you will notice that this text is Arial uh, and this is 13 font, which is the biggest one. And then comes this one Arial 9. All these texts are similar. So what I do is, for example, for example, I need to replace this text or add this text 
I'm just going to click over here, press Ctrl and Shift and click the left button of my mouse and just simply going to drag it down. Now you can see what happens is that I can easily drag it down here. I'm going to show you again that once you press click control button and then press shift and then press the right button you can easily see a cursor with a plus sign. Now you can simply drag it down and put it down wherever you need. So that's how you can replace the text and simply for these text or these lines you can easily draw these lines by uh, using the buttons in the uh, in your computer. So then comes the sex enter, sex male, female, date of birth, nationality. If you have double nationality, you can add more nationalities. Then come the next part, which is the main heading. What, which job are you applying for? So when you type here, or what you can do is, if you don't have this part, click here, control shift, and you can see there's a mouse cursor with a plus sign. Drag it down and just put it here. And just type whatever heading you need, job applied for, or for example, if you're applying for studies, so studies applied for, so this is a Europass CV format, so it depends whether you are applying for a job or whether you are applying for higher studies. So now, once you are done with this one, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to place this here and then simply which position are you applying for. So in this case, I'm talking about two different positions. One is a job applied for or the studies applied for in, in just general reference. So you can use either of them, either you're applying for a job or either you're applying for studies. Okay. So this is just a text and you can see that this is the biggest after uh, same font as your name. So these are the main highlights of your CV. So these are 13 and this is same going to be, oh, this is not area. So I'm just going to make it area and simply this is also area. Okay. So once you're done with this one, you're going to drag it here and put it here and similarly drag it here and put it here. So it's almost done. Just simply drag this one a little bit outside so it can balance everything. Now once you're done with this one, I'm going to show you an important part which is how you can create a single line. So for example, I'm going to write here work experience. So make sure that all your headings are in capital form. So work experience, once you are done with this one, just increase the size a little bit. If it's, uh, if it's if it needs more space, you can just increase the length from here so that it can occupy better space. So now we need to make a line. So first of all, go to shapes, take this line and put it over here. So once you click here, you can see a simple line being dragged from this part to another part. And once you are done, remove the mouse and you are all set. Now take a rectangle, make a rectangle like this. It's too big for the size, so let's just reduce the size. And then once you are done with the size redu reduction, you can just go here like 0.2 and simply you can go here 0.1. It looks big, so I'm going to re reverse it to so 0.1 here and 0.2 here. So once you're done with this one, remove the outline click here and it still looks a bit bigger so I'm going to reduce it manually and now it's all that so once you're done with this one click here and click here press or just right click and say group so once you group them they are one shape and you can easily drag and drop whatever you want so now this is your main heading so whenever you want to add another heading just drag and drop like this and change the section of heading that you want so that's the main part that you need to learn from this presentation the rest of the thing is just copy and paste so once you're done with copy and pasting, you can easily replace any text that you want. So I'm going to copy this text from the presentation and I'm going to paste it over here. And here you can see how it looks like. So once you're done with this one, and as you know that all these uh, right hand side texts are the, excuse me. Okay. These texts are in the Calibri font. So I need to change them from Calibri to Arial font and they might need some extra space. Okay, so once you're done with this one, you can make slight adjustment and increase them like this. Once you're done, you can see that this part has a bit different color from the from the left hand side. It's just to keep uh, or make some highlight or make some to grab attention of the reader so that they can see that this is something different. So I must go through this part. And then you can see that you can add your company name and the locality that where is that company located. and what were your roles and responsibilities or activities in that part or in the business or sector you are working for working for industry you are working for process uh, sales marketing or whatever you want now if you have more than one simply just copy these and just drag them down so this means you have a second job so the more jobs you have the more work experience you have you can copy this specific section and you can increase it down so once you're done with the work experience i'm going to go ahead and place another simple similar things which is education and similarly same goes for them 
education also says education training from where and to when so same goes for this part and just increase the size and then comes here and then replace your education and qualification so uh, it looks like something hasn't been copied so I'm gonna copy that part again and I'm going to paste it over here so once you're done you can see that simple pretty simple once you make one section you can just copy that and you replace that down below okay then comes the personal and interpersonal skills so the personal skills includes what languages you can speak and how what languages you can speak and what is your command level on that particular language so once you are done with this one you can see that I simply just place these text over here using a simple text box and making sure that all of these texts are aligned for example one of my text box is here and one of them is here so how I can align them so I'm just going to decide this is my starting position and this is my ending position then I'm going to select all of them go to arrange I'm going to say align them align them to distribute horizontally so once I click here you will notice that all of them are arranged horizontally so similarly you can also arrange them horizontally to the arrange them to the left arrange them to the right or arrange to the top depending upon your requirement so once you are done with this one this is the most uh, different part that uh, that you might face so I just showed you how you can do that after that once you uh, categorize or once you mark your uh, speaking skills like A1 or A2 B1 or B2 depending upon the European framework or reference for languages you can simply uh, mark your own level for that particular language that you can speak and then following uh, after that there are some uh, certain uh, things that I want to show you which is again same copy and paste once you copy them and you can simply paste them here and you are all done so now the thing that I'm going to tell you the most important part is for example let's just quickly change these two area and once we are done I'm going to tell you something that you can do so for people who have more experience the people who are more uh, have more uh, hands-on experience in the industry or some companies or have more awards or achievements what they can do so like I said if you have one section you can extend those sections to a multiple sections and similarly here for example in this publication list for example you have replaced with your publication list you can add in one uh, publication and what you can do is that you can take these for all remaining sections and you can just simply drag them down or move them to the next page depending upon the space you require so you can uh, replace or you can add simply paste this text here and just add the reference or publication list that you have over here so once you're done with this one this is just a gen general sample format I'm going to remove all these border lines and then I'm sorry I'm going to remove all these border lines like this and once you go up you can see you can remove these border lines like this and you can zoom out and see that your CV is ready but one thing that you notice that this CV is a little bit tilted to the left side so what you can do is select all and you can simply drag them down here into the middle so guys here you go so your simple Europass CV which you were having problems to make can easily be made in this format so now you can see that your Europass CV is ready and it starts with your personal information replace your first name surname you have come jobs applied for work experience education training personal skills communication skills blah 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 other skills driving license is really important and all that is done so i hope you guys like this video if you have anything that you want to learn more you can reach me out in the comment section i'm also going to put this uh i'm going to put two files one is the presentation file and also one of the word files so that you can easily have a reference so if you want if you want to learn something else you can easily reach out to me in the comment section I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I will leave a link down in the description box. You can check them out. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.